I guess it has to do with maybe my mom leaving me and shit and me scared to be alone. You know, cause she left left me alone and still hasn't said a word or uh, nothing. I didn't, haven't heard nothing. So that might be it, you know? I don't even think she knows how old I am. If your mom was here, what would you tell her? What's up? Check me out. Give me a fucking hug. Tell me something. Crystal meth. Sad, but still don't hate her for it. Are you scared of me alone? Uh, yeah. Gives you too much time to think about bullshit. I don't even like watching the news or what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I keep it right here in this little cusp. When I was younger, my older cousin, he actually got me my first skateboard. And ever since then, I just haven't stopped. I've been skating 17 years now. I'm Tommy Cuba, I'm 30 years old. I'm living in New York, New Jersey. This is a place called Shorties. Me and like 40 of my friends just started building. All of us have just put our five bucks together, six bucks, buy concrete. In the beginning there, when there was nobody here, it was just a crackhead, and we actually cleaned all that up. We would use the garbage to fill the ramps. This is what I like, this is what I want to be. I like what we do here. Everybody has so much fucking heart. <laughs> I don't really got no words to describe Tommy, but he gnarly as fuck, dude. Gnarly, yeah, basically just gnarly. Gnarly guy. He got some life going on. <laughs> Our skateboard will last about maybe a month. A month and a half, two months. Kids go through boards. You could skate in one day, you know, you could break it. Like a homie over here. Yo! Homie! What happened, man? What happened here? Did you just break it and double up? Oh, there's two boards broken. Yeah. That's ingenuity right there. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, man, we gotta get you a board. We got one at the warehouse, man. I'll get you one. Definitely. I won like a competition, Levi's, and then just posted stuff from Shorties and the movement we have going on over there. A lot of people have seen it. This is the April issue of Fashion Magazine 2017. Go out and get it. See how we are? Like, already somebody else gave him a skateboard. That's, that's what we do here. Can't last two seconds with a shitty board here. We'll just give you another one. <laughs> Get up on that, baby. <laughs> yeah, a lot lighter now. Right around five years ago, I was not skating at all. That was almost gone. I was hanging out with a long group of friends, so moved to Newark, and it was the best really thing for me. Tommy as a baby was my baby. He was my little chubby. Oh my goodness, I love, I love, I loved him because we had a single father. So I would get him up in the morning, I would get him dressed, I would do the breakfast thing, I would do everything. Peter Pan, he ain't never gonna grow up. Never, never land. But he's a good time. He has a good heart. He'll give whatever he's got. He's like walking around my house, I was like, it's your mansion? He's like, well, it's not really a mansion. Okay, and then you're like, I don't even have a fucking license. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I never even drove. I like always something to be happening. I'll sleep when I'm dead, you know? Like, I'm on to the next thing. What else is going on? Who else is coming? Let's go, all right. So it's a party, 24-7. And like, we don't have heat. It's fun for now, but not forever. I can live like this for like five more years. Five years, maybe yeah. 10 years, maybe three years. I'm like, okay. This is what's happening right now until things change. I live, skate, and work in a warehouse. I just like throwing metal around. Been there seven years. I don't feel like quitting yet. And it is a dead end job, people say, but I'm down for it. 
And I get to salvage a lot of stuff, most of the stuff in my house. Like, I get bicycles all the time, and paperweights, awesome things made out of, like, steel, iron, brass. I do my upper body here, I say, and then my, my legs at night when I go skate. will fall a little bit. That's what I want to do, just keep positive people around me. It's saying everywhere is a big family. And then we got the housemates, we're all real tight. <laughs> hey, hey, now! Hey, go skate. And then we got the shorties family. This is where I like, this is where I want to be. I like what we do here. Everybody has so much fucking heart. There is a woman that used to live in the middle of the place when we started building. We had conversations. She's the dopest little woman, so her name was Shorty, so we named it after her. She came over and she helped build some ramps. To come here and see them with their bulldozers and shit, and really not to give a shit, just uh, it hurts. I wasn't ready for it because I didn't know it was gonna happen so fast. And just to see everybody out here today, it's a really good thing. It still won't stop, even though it's broken down. It's fucking sad. You put a lot of work into it. It's not nothing to do with me. I'm just a guy with the broom. <laughs> With a couple bucks, that help. Environmental dudes just came in saying that they were just supposed to move some dirt around and nobody was supposed to touch the building. I don't know who it was that came here and started knocking down steel beams. And now, you know, damage is done. You can't just build houses here because of chemicals. It's kind of hell for that one. But like I said, like that one, it's just slid in. The structure is That, that beam is just slid in. I'm just hoping we get to keep the place still. I want to come here still every damn day. I'm here alone when it's wet. It'll be freeze. My homies are like, dude, it's 10 degrees. I'm like, I'm going to fucking shorties, man. This is my haven. This is my church. This is my second home. Now we just skate it out until they wreck it fully. Remember the people and the hard work was put in and the good fucking vibes. I'm just appreciative about Shorty. Shorty's did a lot for me, and a lot for all of us. I want to build skate parks not even for a living, just just because it's fun and it's a good thing to do, and it's positive. Eventually, has this place has to come down. We've had our eyes on like other spots to build. We're definitely gonna start over. <laughs>